Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Olebibe. First, the headlines. New OPEC Secretary General emerges as Bakindo bows out in August. Oil and gas, PIA to foster investment in 2022, NMPC. Algeria's sonar trash prepares to resume oil operations in Libya. Now the news in details. The Deputy Managing Director for International Marketing at Kuwait Petroleum Corporation, Haytam al Gaze, has emerged the next Secretary General of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC. He was named as the next Secretary General at a special meeting of the Conference of OPEC held via video conference on Monday, 3rd January. In accordance with Article 28 of the OPEC statute, the conference decided by acclamation to appoint him as Secretary General of the organization with effect from 1st August 2022 for a period of three years. Meanwhile, oil experts have expressed appreciation to Mohamed Sanusi Bakindo for his leadership during his two-term tenure as Secretary General beginning on August 1, 2016 and ending on July 31, 2022. A long-serving veteran of Nigeria's oil industry and OPEC, Mr. Bakindo has been instrumental in expanding OPEC's historical efforts to support sustainable oil market stability through enhanced dialogue and cooperation with many energy stakeholders, including the landmark Declaration of Cooperation, DOC, since its inception in December 2016. These efforts are widely credited with helping to stabilize the global oil market since the unprecedented market turned down related to the COVID-19 pandemic and providing a platform for recovery. In his letter to Al Gaze, Nigeria's Mohamed Bakindo, who will be handing over to him, said, It is fully deserved and recognition of your extreme positive standing within the OPEC community as a commitment, knowledgeable and extreme able technocrat who can lead the organization in years to come. It's been an honor of a lifetime to lead OPEC since August 2016, helping to bring together the Declaration of Cooperation, the Charter of Cooperation, and navigate the organization past the impact of the industry downturn of 2014 to 2016 and the massive repercussions of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 and 2021. Haytam Algeis is expected to assume office on 1st August 2022. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NMPC Limited, has identified the Petroleum Industry Act, PIA, as a major achievement in 2021 that will stimulate investment in 2022 and beyond. In its report cited by reporters, the company, which represents the federal government's interest in the oil and gas industry, stated the PIA culminated in the establishment of a commercialized NMPC Limited, entrenching accountability and good governance, and promoting the exploration and exploitation of the petroleum resources in Nigeria for the benefit of all Nigerians as well and foster the sustainable development of the host communities. It will ensure the efficient and effective technical and operational regulation of the upstream, midstream and downstream sectors of the oil industry through the activities of the Nigerian Upstream Regulatory Commission and the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Regulatory Authority, among others. The company noted that such investments will thrive as steps have already been taken towards the enhancement of transparency, accountability and performance excellence in NMPC as a strategic roadmap to attaining efficiency and global excellence. An indigenous company, Tapa Petroleum Development Company, is one of the strong contenders for the ExxonMobil Nigeria oil and gas assets. The assets comprise 40% of interest 
An investigation indicated that the company was founded by Mr. Austin Avuru and stands a good chance of winning the assets, having seamed up with the United Kingdom's carbon energy with about $908 billion market capitalization. With the support of Karin Energy, Chapar Petroleum is also said to be chasing other oil and gas assets that international oil companies IOC in Nigeria seek to divest. Algeria's national oil company Sonotrach is preparing to resume suspended oil projects in Libya, the state's news agency APS reported. The company is currently working with its partners in Libya to create safe conditions for its workers and equipment, Sonotrach CEO Tofik Haka said in an interview. Visits to Libya are planned before the end of February to negotiate Sonotrach's return, he said. According to the weekly energy newsletter, Sonotrash was forced to abandon its exploration activity on the Libyan side of the Algerian-Libya border in 2014 due to the deteriorating security situation. Sonotrash had made a number of promising discoveries up until that point, reports said. On Sunday's interview, Hakka added that Sonotrash also intends to invest an estimated $40 billion in its energy sector between 2022 and 2026. Most U.S. oil and gas firms expect to raise their capital expenditures next year, as analysts have largely forecast in recent months. Yet, capital available to the industry is constantly shrinking as banks continue to shun the sector due to ESG pressure and as the Biden administration, with its green agenda and anti-oil policies, is discouraging many of the shell patch from boosting capital budgets beyond the bare minimum. There were some of the comments and views expressed in the Dallas Fed Energy Survey for the fourth quarter release this week, which showed the oil and gas industry's frustration with constrained funding availability from banks and with the uncertainty the U.S. administration's green policies poses to the future of Americans' oil and gas production. Low capital availability will ultimately lead to a higher oil and gas price, U.S. oil and gas executives said in the latest Dallas Fed Energy Survey. Access to expanding credit on reserve-based loans were already flagged as one of the greatest headwinds to the industry, alongside restricted skilled labor supply by an executive in the previous survey for the third quarter. This follows months of U.S. officials begging OPEC for higher oil output instead of turning to their own domestic companies, which, given certainty of their future policies, could have been more willing to invest in drilling additional wells and increasing production, helping to tame the oil price rally.
icon Chief Afe Babalola San has described the cash crunch hitting some banks as another policy by the CBN and commercial banks that will increase the suffering of the Nigerian masses, thereby causing more debts and hunger in the system. Babalola said a situation where many Nigerians could not have access to cash in banks for Christmas and New Year celebrations had further brought negative perception about governments, which he said was not good for its image. The legal luminary therefore called on the federal government to critically look at the situation of scarcity of cash in banks in the country, warning that if not effectively tackled, it will lead to serious hunger which can dovetail to high mortality rates, uncontrolled crimes, and increased insecurity. Babalola, in a statement in Adoikiti yesterday by the Director of Corporate Services at Babalola University, Tunde Olofintila, said such policy for that sign posted that Nigeria is backwards and not making headway. Before we end the news, here's a recap of our headlines. New OPEC Secretary General emerges as Bakindo bows out in August. Oil and gas PIA to foster investments in 2022 NMPC. Algeria Zona Trash prepares to resume oil operations in Libya. And that's the news. My name is Naomi Oleripe. Have a great day.